Hello and welcome to ST Web Designer. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a hover effect to an image. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using the image and code we used in the previous tutorial, which was inserting an image into your web page, where we inserted the image, floated it left, right, and aligned its centre and made it responsive. That link will be in the description below. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a hover effect to an image using CSS. So, to add our hover effect to our image, we need to add a few more styles to our image one class. So we need to add these seven lines of code and I'll explain what they do in a bit. So we need to add filter, an alpha, and in brackets, opacity equals 50 then we need to write opacity then 0 0.5 and then we need to go web kit transition opacity 1s which is one second ease out now I'm going to copy this bit here to make life easier. So dash moz dash transition and control V which pastes it. Then dash ms dash transition and paste and then dash o dash transition and paste and the final one is just transition and that is our seven lines of code so these two lines here change the look of the image basically change the opacity of the image to make it less visible so when we hover it becomes 100% opacity and these five lines of code make the transition effect. So the opacity changes, it happens in one second and it eases out. So when we view this in our browser, we can see the image changes. So it is less visible. Now it's time to make the magic happen. So we're going to go dot image one colon hover and this hover state will tell the browser that when the user hovers over our image something will happen so we're going to go filter none opacity 100 so we're telling the browser that we want to get rid of the filter we had in place and we want to change the opacity from 0 0.5 to 100. So we save that. When we hover over the image, the opacity will change to 100, making the image visible, like so. And it makes a very nice hover effect. So in this tutorial, you have learned how to add a smooth hover effect to an image. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. If you found this useful, please give it a thumbs up. Bye for now.